Hello guys, this is Sahil Kamboj and welcome to my YouTube channel Data Science Story. In the previous video, we have learned what is machine learning and why we do the estimation of function f. That is the relation that tells the relationship between the input variable x and the output variable y. We also got to know that what's the difference between prediction and inference. In this video, we will see what are the different methods that are used to do the prediction or inference in the machine learning. So let's get started. Throughout the book series, we will explore many linear or nonlinear approaches to estimate the relationship between X and Y. Our goal is to apply the statist statistical learning methods to the training data in order to estimate the unknown function. So broadly there are two basic approaches that are used for this. The one is parametric methods and other is non-parametric methods. Parametric methods. The parametric method is consists of two step model based approach. The first method is model selection. In this we assume the model that best describe the shape of the relationship between x and y. After the model is selected, the next step is to find the parameters of that model that we have already selected in order to get the minimum least scare errors. What is least scare error? This, this we will look into uh, in the later chapters in detail. The basic fundamental approach in the least scare is that we try to reduce the error to fit the model in the best possible way. This model based approach that we have just discussed is called the parametric approach. One of the advantage of parametric approach is that it's simplifying the problem of estimating the relationship that is f because it generally much easier to estimate a set of parameters that are used to estimate the f like uh, the coefficients of uh, x in a linear model then it is to fit an entirely arbitrary function f and the potential disadvantage of a parametric approach is that the model we choose will usually not match the true unknown function of the s or say the relationship between x and y it is possible that the model that we choose is too simple to predict the relationship between the x and y and to address this problem we choose a more flexible model that can fit many different possible functions form of, for the relationship f but in general fitting a more flexible model requires estimating a greater number of parameters and uh, these uh, kind of more complex models can lead to phenomena also known as overfitting the data which essentially mean that they follow the errors very closely now there is a image that on the screen you can look into on the left hand side of your screen there is a linear model and on the right hand side of your screen there is a real relationship between the income and the year of education and the seniority okay uh, you can easily find that in the left hand side where the linear model is selected in the parametric approach the relationship between the income and the year of in education and seniority is not that much equal to the reality on the right hand side there is, on the right hand side there is a re real relationship between income and year of education and seniority because here we know the relationship between them because this the data set is synthetic that we have created so you uh, you guys now got the idea that by selecting the very simple model it is very difficult to do the exact predictions but if inference comes into the point then it is easy to find to imply some inference from this data non-parametric approaches in non-parametric approaches what we do is we do not uh, simply make explicit assumptions about the relationship that is f but instead 
we try to estimate the f that get close to the data points as much possible as okay so the major advantage of, of param no, of non parametric approaches over the parametric approaches is that by avoiding the assumptions of the model of a particular function form they have the potential to accurately fit a wider range of possible shapes of the relationship but the only major disadvantage of the non parametric approaches is that they require a very large number of data sets far more typically needed for the parametric approaches in order to obtain an accurate estimate of the relationship now i am showing you the estimation of the relationship done by the non parametric method on your left hand side of your screen and the real relationship on your right hand of screen you can clearly see that it is way too closely to the data points that are in red dots and these this is like overfitting of the data okay what you can do to avoid this overfitting is that you can choose the flexibility of the model if you increase the flexibility of model there are high chances that it overfits the data so as a data scientist you have to choose those parameters for the model that are not too flexible and not too non flexible you have to find that sweet spot okay so this is all that i have for this video guys thank you very much please subscribe to my youtube channel data science story and comment below this video if you have any question or you have any doubt or you anything you want to say about this video thank you very much